Welcome back, guys. Things are awesome, let me tell you. Since I've got the uh, the mechanical bits finished for the for the for the mega halo, now everything is just awesome, and the sky's the limit for what we want to do. Look at all the trades. Everything's just flying around. It is, seriously, it is awesome. You can just sit and watch it. But I've been looking at other things around the place and how I can improve things. Uh, and we'll get on to some of that. Um, the, the big giant freight yard. Right, we're going to hold off on that just for now. And uh, after, the, after the last American episode, I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with the planes. I want planes flying around here. And specifically... I want us to get to the point where we can start deploying, let's see, where are we, by aircraft. I want to start getting these 757-200s out, right, but these things like 55 passengers, at the moment we're, we're struggling to, we, we, well we can't, we can't fill our Airbus um, uh, A320s, which are only 38 passengers, so we're going to get, uh, we're going to get things rocking and rolling. Um, the TGVs, by the way, are f absolutely flying. And if I, if I bring this up and show you, the TGVs are actually full. So we actually need a couple more TGVs on there. And I'm just going to keep with the, stay with the little ones at the moment. The short TGVs, 72 passengers. That'll do, they're 30 million a piece, so. Uh, yeah, just throw that on here. Boom. Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye. And set you on, where are we? TGV, boom. So we've got an extra TGV going on there. Now, what we want to do is go to the other TGV, end. sure, buy, boom, set line, and TGV, where are you? Boom. All right, cool. Right, let's crank it up again. Dude, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, you know, like, doing all the Mega Halo was, like, it was a huge, huge amount of work. But, man, now it's done. And I've been, I have been looking at some more train models um, to actually put on. Like the, uh, some of the, some of the other French high-speed trains. Oh, off you go. Got to name some of these. But you guys often complain that I don't do enough first person, so let's have it. Let's have a little ride on our new train, 197. Down to dogging. Look at this. Doesn't this look good now? Wow. <laughs> it's the first time that I've ridden the train over this bridge. Oh, that's peachy. And yeah, I know it's a little bit laggy, but to be honest, I really, really don't care. I'm so pleased that they didn't put limitations on this. I mean, there are so many limitations on other games where you can't push it. Here we go. How many passengers are you going to get? Probably not that many because the train's just just pulled out. But we'll see. Uh, oh, it's getting some. It's getting some. Oh, oh, that's not bad at all. 40 to 50. Oh, 48. Oh, that'll do. That'll do, pig. All right, you know what? Let's go to the other end and see what the other one picked up. Where are you? Where are you? I wasn't expecting to be doing this at the beginning of this episode. <laughs> uh, it must be that, uh, not that one. That's the fly. That's the flying cock. That's the flying. Co I'm in the wrong place. Uh, <laughs> where's the TGV? Uh, oh, we're over here. Here we go. Uh, so it would have been. Uh, it would have been. Be down here now. Oh, here we go. Yeah, train 196. Oh, and it's got a full load of passengers. So let's have a look now. So what's our frequency now? Our frequency is now. Oh, not quite as much as I thought. 80, 80 seconds, but that's good. And, well, yeah, that's going to be running at capacity. We may even need a couple more. Oh, my Lord. Okay, that's awesome. Right, enough of that. Right, let's go and get these freaking airports running. So, uh, I get, you know what? I'm going to let that TGV run through there. Uh, I'm not sure why, because I'm not going to change anything. Uh, and then we'll pause it so that... Get rid, of the, get rid of the lag. And then we're going to start getting these um, these little regional, uh, not regional, these little local lines running. So, for example, we've got a line which runs from this station over here in Winston. And it goes around here 
through the station and out to Dogging. And then on the opposite side, we've got another one that goes through there out to Premier 2 Caton. So we want to get trains running on there. I'm gonna, I'm, I am going to put like at least a couple of these in. Maybe space them out just a fraction like that. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to kind of throw those in for now. And I'll kind of figure out later exactly how I want to lay out some kind of deco some kind of depot arrangement here and I'll probably put like fences around it and all kinds of stuff some nice trees around the place right so get some tracks going so this is going to be putting the trains onto the track in that direction so yeah that's a little bit faster maybe oh no that's a, that's a, that's as good as we can do cool now do I do I put the, the trains onto the other track as well from here, or do, like do we have a couple more? I, well, we might have a couple more depots, guys. Because it's an excuse to have more depots, and more depots is kind of a good thing. So let's run you out like that. Cha Ching. Let's get let's, yeah. Let's get a couple more depots in. What the hell? Why not? Let's spoil ourselves. So let's have another depot there uh, I may have to redo those tracks because really that should these, these two should be going to the inner ones yeah they should right let's redo it let's redo it the hell and that one there how does that look oh that's not bad and I tell you what these kind of look like aircraft buildings they're kind of like hangars and whatever I might I might have some of these over here you know there we go that'll do Chi ching right get the old brush and a little bit of smoothing now I did do a little bit of work before I started this episode, having done a, 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 a like a bunch of playing around and, and researching different ideas and things, and looking at all kinds of optimization that I need to do, which hopefully we'll talk about a bit later. Um, uh, but I, for example, I went round and like this airport had only got one runway, so I added the second runway and three terminals and all that kind of stuff, and then I had to do some work on this and blah 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 blah. blah. And I was trying to I was trying to get this to kind of look okay and be a bit natural and stuff. Definitely need some trees on this hillside over here. We'll get to that. Right. How many trains are we going to put on this? So we've got one, two, three stations. We've only got three stations. So I'm thinking maybe four trains on each. Yeah. So that means two on each of these. So you. Now this one is on. This, you know what? I'm going, to, I'm going to change the color of one of these lines so I can tell the difference. Yeah, oh, that's too dark. I don't like that. Let's make it. What about, yeah, there we go. That'll do. So, yeah, this one's going on to this one. This one's going on to the other one. Right, okay. So, we want you by trains. Now, what are we going to put on? I think for this, because I want them to be fairly quick. So, I'm going to use dual stocks rather than these. But I'm just going to put singles. I mean, they carry 122 passengers, which I think is going to be more than adequate for this. So I think we'll just go with single dual stocks. So what do I say? We want two per line. Oh, yes, two per depot. So buy, buy. Cool. And then we want to put these, set these on line. This is going on to this one, isn't it? Yeah, so let's have a look. Where are we? Uh, oh, here we go. TP dogging is a light colored one. Winston, there we go. And then you, final trains. Bye bye, and get rid of you, get rid of you, and you are going on to that one. Right, cool. No messing about. Go. Oh, look at them roll out our new fleet of dual stocks. Get you up there. You know what? Let's, yeah, let's minimize you and get you up there and minimize you. Oh, the new fleet rolls out. Oh, look at him go. And now, this is going to be crazy busy, this part of the track. We've got the TGVs running up and down. We've got these dual stocks on the local lines. And we've still got to add the other local line. Now that we've got those trains running, those local trains, and I wonder if they've got any passengers yet. Um, let's have a look. No, nope, no passengers yet. It's not kind of too much of a surprise. Because they haven't... 
We haven't really got anywhere to go. Um, so, right, we want to get we want to get the airports hooked up then. So, let's do it. Let's do it. So, what I'm going to do, currently we've got two lines. Um, which, uh, let's bring them up. So, we've currently got, uh, if I change this to sort by name, right. So, we've got AP anti-clockwise and AP clockwise. Okay. And they're just going around to there. Now, what we want is um, to point to point all the stations, right? But we can actually do that with two loops. That would actually give us uh, like point to point. So all we need to do is, now you're taking off, let's see. Uh, you just landed that way. So you're taking off that way. So you go around there to here. So we want to change this. So after Sparksville Central, we want to add. Um, bum, 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 bum. You're going to come across to here, and I'm thinking you're going to be landing. Um, God, I got to get the right one. Well, let's put that one in. Is that right? I think that's. I think that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So that comes in, lands there, and then zips off there and lands there excellent right so now we just need to do the other one so the other one if that goes gangu annex sparksville central premier 2k then you're taking off that oh, right so it's going to be it's going to be gang uh, it's going to be gangu and then add this one right okay cool now let's see how many vehicles we got on these. We've got three planes on there, and we've got three planes on there. Let's have a look at our frequency. I, the frequency is maybe part of the problem. You see, they're only every five minutes, which is kind of rubbish. <laughs> so I tell you what, uh, let's pause it and let's get some more planes. Let's get some more planes. Buy aircraft. I'm going to stick with the, the A320s for now, and hopefully we'll get to the point of being able to upgrade to at least some. 75 says, I'd like a mix of the two because I think it'd be kind of interesting. So let's get, um, let's see, every five minutes, we want to cut it down. So I'm thinking one, two, three. Let's put four on there. And finally, we want one, two, three, four. And these are going to go onto the clockwise line, which is the, which is the dark green one. Set line, dark green. There we go. Huh. Oh, so what now what is our time 139 seconds that's a hell of a lot better it's just over two minutes it's one every just over two minutes but i'm really tempted let's see so we've got one two three four five six seven um I, you know i think we actually want a, a couple more on each um frequency is really important so let's get an extra so, uh, buy aircraft. Uh, this is an Airbus and this is going on the green. So, buy and set line. That'd be clockwise. And buy aircraft. One more. I, I'm just going to put one more on, I think. And then we'll see. We'll see how the numbers look. And then. Oh, I just put that on the wrong one, didn't I? Just put that one on the wrong one. Idiot. Uh, which one was it? Was it. I think it was. 13 and let's see which which one are you in yeah you're in this one yeah you should have gone on the light blue there we go that's right okay should we crank it up see what happens let's do it let's let's go over here and see how see our new aircraft roll out and away we go so get rid of you get rid of you let's get rid of that for now oh here come our new airplanes I just got rid of that, and actually I didn't want to, because I, I wanted to check on... That, that's the anti-clockwise one. Oh, which is what I wanted. There we go. I wanted to check on the uh, on the age of the existing vehicles. Oh, no, those are, that's, that's that. I want the airlines. Um, it's going to be that. And then what's the age? Ooh, 45 years. Those need to be replaced. So let's say uh, replace at 100% with... Airbus A320s, okay. Yes, and we'll do the same 
with this one. So replace uh, with A320s at 100%. Yes, there we go. Alrighty. Now I wonder how long it's going to take for this to kind of improve. So we've got 33 passengers on the anti-clockwise. We've got no passengers on the clockwise right now. So that's kind of our starting point. Oh, here we go. We've got planes to take it off. Oh, we're going to get passengers. And I've got to say, I haven't actually like researched this. So, like I didn't pre-build it beforehand. So I'm kind of in the dark, just like you are. It's going to be really interesting. But what I'm thinking is, if you're in one of these towns over here, uh, and you want to get over to, say, Premier 2 Caton, then... Um, you would have to take the mini halo round to Maisley or round to round that way through to Maisley, then switch on to the halo. And the halo's got to go all round here and like across to dogging and round to Premier 2 Caton. So I'm thinking there's good incentive for people to actually want to fly that route. Oh, we've got an auto safe. We can see how much money we're making. Here we go, and let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, 343, but we spent how much? Uh, da, 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 construction cost was 30. New vehicles, 340 million. Oh, man. We made, wow. Um, I think we made about 700 million last year. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's more than pretty cool. That's pretty staggering. Right, let's get rid of that. Right, we, we're still not seeing any passenger numbers. Let's go over to this airport. There's our local trains running around. Let's have a look at the stations and see. So, let's see. Oh, we've got, we've got passengers. We've got passengers, guys. Dogging to Premier. Premier 2 Caton, we've got 25 passengers waiting at the station. 28 passengers. Now, are they, do they really want to go to Dogging on that route? Maybe they do. Maybe that's a quicker route for them to get into town. But I'm really hoping some of them are going to want to stop at the, uh, the tra at the airport. Now we've got 41, 42, mate. Yeah, okay, well, we're, we're definitely getting passengers on these trains then. Let's look at the other one. Let's just bring up this one as well. And yeah, we've got passengers on that one as well. Some of these people must want to go to the airport, surely. Stop calling me Shirley. Only 16 passengers on there. It's, yeah, it, might, it might take a bit of time. Where's, that? Where's the other one that I wanted? Yeah, let's bring this up. Okay, so we've got yeah, 60 passengers. 18, 20, 22. Okay, we're getting well, okay. We're getting loads of passengers on those trains. Are any of them going to go to the freaking airports? Come on, somebody go to the airport. I may have to crank this up to like three times speed because it does kind of take them a bit of time. Well, at least these lines work. I mean, that, that's kind of the first thing. Shall, shall I crank this up? I don't know how, how, how well this is going to run if I crank it up to three times speed. But we'll, we'll try it out. We'll see what happens. Oh, please, let's have some passengers. I'm going I'm to be ridiculously excited if we do get some passengers, though. Let's, let's have a look at you. So we've got 60 passengers on that train. Are any going to get off? Oh, man. Not, like, not one... Oh, come on. Some of you must want. Some of you must want to fly. We've got all this cool stuff set up. Come on. You must want to fly around. Yeah, man. If nobody wants to fly this, it could be such a disaster. <laughs> oh, the risks of going on YouTube. Man. Okay, so. So that's good. So we know we've got we, we know we've got passengers on the trains. We know that we've got decent frequency on the trains. But right now. Oh, 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 guys! Yes! We have got passengers coming on somewhere. 
Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's get Lyle Winston up there. And let's get Premier 2 Caton there. That's what, okay, let's have those two. Up there like that. We'll see where we're getting passengers. So we want uh, you up Gangu. And we want this one somewhat which is that's yeah, Gangu Annex. Oh look at this, Gangu Annex. We've got 24 passengers waiting, which is like half decent. So we are getting some passengers over there. I, I've got to say, this is the one that I'm kind of concerned about. We might have to do some optimization work around here. Might get these trains a bit more frequent and stuff, but we'll kind of see. So let's get that down there. And this one. Oh, that's that Spotsville Central. And this one is also called Spotsville Central, apparently. Ooh, it's, uh, it is laggy when you run it on three times speed, though. It's the only problem. Man, things aren't actually... I don't think things move that much faster. And you know what? Being up at this kind of height is a bad idea. So let's go back over to these two airports. And we'll zoom in. And if I angle it down a bit, then everything... See, everything runs a lot faster now. When you're looking at the whole place, things do get a bit on the laggy side, so... Right, let's see. How are we doing? So, oh, we've got a passenger at Sparksville Central. We picked up those passengers from Gangu. Let's bring this up. So, what have we got? Oh, we've got 39 and 16. Okay, it's better. It's better than it was. Now, is it going to keep increasing? Oh, we've got, we've got a passenger at Gangu. We've got three passengers at Sparksville Central. 40 and 16 now. Let's, let's crank it up again to three times. Now that I'm kind of looking at a small area. And it should run a bit faster. And we'll see. Can we get some more people on these? Oh, five people at Sparksville Central. One at Gango, An at Gango Annex. Oh, I think, I think it might be starting to work. Oh, four, five, six at Sparksville. Come on, guys. Some of you must want to travel. Got this lovely train set up, a nice brand new station and brand new airports. Some of you must want to freaking travel, surely. Mind you, um, I tell you what, the local transport in uh, Premier 2 Caton and Lower Winniston is not good. And that might be the that might be kind of the big problem. Hmm. Yeah, you know, let's take a look at that. Let's pause this for a second and let me show you. Because Premier 2 Caton, I think Premier 2 Caton's local transport is kind of awful. But we'll see. Let's bring this up so we can see the lines. Um, yeah, all we've got are these these two bus lines, which are not great. How many passengers have we got waiting? Let's have a look. Uh, that's the vehicles. I don't want that. We want uh, stations and stops. Yeah, see, we've got loads of passengers waiting to be shipped around and that's like this is gonna slow stuff down and like how's our coverage uh, we're, we're not even getting like full coverage around the place so yeah the I think the next issue is gonna be putting a decent passenger network and we've only got a passenger network on this side we've got nothing over this side let's have a look at the see and this is all residential over here right and this the station only extends to there so all of these people have got no transport option to get them to the station. So yeah, that needs to be done urgently. And I'm pretty sure Winniston, yeah, Winniston. Look at Winniston, poor Winniston. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of these outlying areas that like there's just no coverage at all. And there's big queues waiting. So, yeah, I need to do both of those. And that would explain uh, why people are not traveling. Now, although, to be fair, dogging, there's kind of no real excuse for people in dogging not to travel. Man, maybe I just, I don't know, maybe we just need to give it a little bit more time. Let's get rid of the line manager. What are you up to? Uh, 46 and 22. Now, that's a hell of a lot better than it was. Let's 
zoom in a bit closer. I can watch these trains running while we're while we're waiting for things to happen. Look at this, we're losing <laughs> losing quite a lot of money, thirteen and fifteen million. But if we can actually like get people travelling, then these could potentially make a fair amount of money. Airlines, if you get them working, do make decent money. Gangu Annex and Spartsville Central seem to be the kind of the popular ones. 48 and 22. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Travel. Travel. All right. I tell you what. I think that I, I need to go and sort out those two, uh, those two transport systems. And... And then we can run it and see if that improves things at the airport. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, it sounds like a plan to me.
Okay, we're done. My God, <laughs> that took a little while. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be quite that extensive. So what I've done, I, what, I wanted the two to be like different. So obviously over here in um, uh, in Premier 2 Caton, we've got this very efficient, nice two circles, trams all rocking and rolling. And then over in Winston, I've kind of got it all over the place and with buses and going like hither and thither and whatever. It'd be kind of interesting to see how that kind of works out. So I tell you what, let's, um, let's put that and that up there. And then obviously I've got to name all of these, but let's put them, let's just stuff them all over there for now. Um, that should be fine. Don't worry about that. And pop those over there. Now, what I think is the best thing to do uh, let's get this going. Uh, I think the best thing to do at this point is for me to kind of just like run it on a while uh, and see what happens because it, it's going to take a little while for all that to kick in. So um, I need to get all of these set up again so that we can we can monitor the passengers. So yeah, let me, I don't know, let me let me run it on. Where are we? We're, we're 2062. Um, let me run it on, I don't know, probably two or three years and then we'll uh, we'll come back to it and see how we're doing. Okay guys, um, a full 24 hours later, <laughs> the, uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's all working and it's a thing of beauty. I mean, it really is. Like you'll see, like you've usually got like one aircraft taking off, one coming into the terminal, one coming into land. Let's turn it around a bit and see if we can. Oh yeah, yeah, here we go. Another one coming into land. It's beautiful, it's busy, it's awesome. There's only one problem, guys. People aren't using them. <laughs> I've had a nightmare. Literally, after after I said, oh, I'll just run it a bit, right? Uh, I spent the next 12 hours trying to get people to actually use the damn things uh, with virtually zero success. Um, uh, but... Then I started, like, I tried everything, guys. I mean, I, seriously, I tried everything. Like, we're over here at, uh, at Gangu at the moment. Let me turn the, yeah, let me turn the town names. Oh, the town names are on. Um, let me turn the, let me turn the uh, passengers on. There we go, so we can see the passengers as well. Um, so, yeah, well, well, you can see we, we, we do have passengers, and, and I have got some people using it now. The, um, the problem is that it's, it's only very specific lines when I set it up originally, um, I set it up with the with the the loop that I had before between the between the three airports, and the only line that was being used was from Gangu to Sparksville over here. Oh, this was this RAF Halton, and you can see we've actually got passengers there. Um, but it was literally that one line. That was the only line that they were using, just going back and forwards between here and RAF Alton. There was nobody. Well, uh, there was like the occasional passenger at uh, uh, going going to dogging, but but virtually zero. And I tried everything, guys. I tried everything. I I increased the frequency of the the trains and trams that are supplying the stations. I played around with the frequency of the aircraft. I changed it from. Uh, a loop between the three air uh, between the, the, the three airports to, uh, to to direct point to point routes, which is the same thing. Oh, oh, by the way, I'll point out that when you change it to direct point to points, it works exactly the same, like literally exactly the same. And after about uh, it was about twelve hours that I put in immediately after that, I just put twelve hours solid into trying to fix this. I just came to the conclusion that there was no solution to this, that I could not make it work. And I think it's just because the Mega Halo is too good. It's too efficient. Um, people, have, people have got access to plenty of local towns uh, where they can go and work and shop and all the rest of it. And they just, they just kind of don't need to fly. So when I got up, to, uh, when I got up this morning, I, I, like after 12 hours, I was like, yeah, oh God, it's, I, it's epic fail. It's epic fail. I just give up. Um, I, I thought, when I, when I woke up, I thought, I'll try one more thing. I thought, what about if I put an airport, like, somewhere, like, a bit out of the way, and and, and, and try that. So I put in an airport over here, at lies a lot, lies a lot on the sly. And uh, I put in a tram network. Oh, that's another thing that I did to try and improve things. Like, for example, um, like, over here. 
I put in I put in the tram network so that it goes both sides, so it'll work to both terminals, so that when like when people arrive at these, they uh, at both both airports, they can get into town and get access to the stuff down here. Um, I did the uh, the transport net networks in Barrington and Viewterville to try and improve things, so people could like get to the train station, so that would make it faster to get there. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. The best I got was like uh, about a hundred passengers, um, concurrent passengers going from from Gangu to uh, to Sparksville. But anyway, um, then I tried putting um, lies a lot in, and um, and got a little bit of traffic going to lies a lot. Let me show you what we've got now. What what the setup is currently. So I've set up these five point to point lines, and. Oh man, what the, I, okay, seriously, like a couple of minutes ago, these were both like 50 passengers. Like what the, uh, let me show you that. So let's just bring these up and I'll show you. And I've seen this happen before in the last, I've, I've spent like four hours on it again today. So I'd like about 16 hours in total. Um, and let me show you, let me show you. So if we look at the charts, see this was up around, 90 passengers and it's already dropped down to like 60 um, that one hasn't that one oh that one hasn't registered any oh no that hasn't done anything that one hasn't done anything for the last few years right here was where I like reworked it and I've now got this actually doing something this is um, from dogging to lies a lot now this is weird because I couldn't get any virtually anybody traveling to dogging and yet from 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 lies a lot they want to travel to dogging like God only knows why, because that's like one of the one of the literally one of the shortest routes. Um, and then we've got Gangu to lies a lot. Now that was the one that I expected to do really well, and initially it did, and then it's dropped off to nothing. Okay, it's coming back a little bit now, maybe. And then this is the one that's always been fairly good. You can see we've peaked out at like about 150. Um, and then I rejig things, and then and like right now it's around about a hundred. So yeah, you can see it's it it is very up and down all of this. It's uh, I I can't get any kind of consistency to it. And let's see. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very weird. It's very weird. Oh, we've got an auto save going on. Let's uh, let's drag you down a bit down there. Yeah, just so that we can see these lines. There we go. That'll do. So, um, and I've, I tried other things as well. So, for example, I tried putting um, an air, a couple of airports in, in between Barrington and Troy, right, in here. And I thought, hmm, you know, maybe, because that's a, like a little bit further away, maybe that'll work. Um, what else did I try? Now, I want to show you this, because if you look at, if you look at dogging, the problem, one of the problems with dogging is the alignment isn't, isn't really right you see from here you want to come like around here and fly into an air airport in this direction so these are actually 90 degrees the wrong way and it actually does cause a problem see if you look at the light blue line you can see I've got a line from uh, from dogging over to um, to Gangu and you can see that yeah it takes off heads in this direction that's great right but it then has to go around this curve to get into here. And then this one, coming in this direction, it comes here, it has to go all out here and turn around to come in here. Whereas if it was um, at 90 degrees, then it could uh, it could just come straight in, straight in around here. And it cuts the journey time like quite a lot. So yeah, orientation of the airports is, um, is definitely one thing uh, what else did I, I, oh man, I tried freaking everything to try and get this damn thing to work. What's the current situation? 28, 58, 21. I'm all a bit low at the moment. It was, like I said, it was, it was a bit higher. These two were up around 50 to 60 for a while. And this one was up around 30 to 40. And it's kind of dropped off. It will, of course it would, because I'm trying to show it to you now. So of course it would. Um, and it's a real shame because, oh, I'm actually going to close these down. Um, it's a real shame because it like looks wise it's absolutely awesome when you've got these um, when the, you've got these airports nice and busy actually let's go over here look at this 
There's, there's usually three planes on any airport at any moment. So we've got one in the terminal, one taking off, one coming into land. Let's go and have a look over here. Should be similar kind of thing. Yeah, one's just come out of the terminal. It's going to take off. We've got one just coming into the terminal. Oh, and here's another one coming into land. And it is awesome to watch. There is, there's kind of no getting away from it. The, the, the airports and the air travel is really awesome. But um, like I say, I think the problem is that the, the, the rail network is just too damn good. It's, um, it's very difficult. So what I was thinking was um, to, to keep the existing infrastructure, like these, these three airports, and then try and put some other airports, like around the place to, um, to try and feed into those. So, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe we could have an, an airport up here, at Haverhill. Right, that could maybe fly over to uh, to dogging. Maybe that would work. Um, I, I I'm seriously thinking about m maybe moving these. Um, I did change the alignment. I did try and angle them differently, which was a bit of a freaking nightmare. I spent ages playing around with that, uh, but it, it didn't make any appreciable difference. Um, that really they would need to be like 90 degrees, which we which we can't do. Um, and unless I like really rejig things, which I, I you know, I kind of don't really want to do. Uh, what? And like, and there's there's these places over here. So I don't know. Maybe we can have an, an airport out at Romsey and maybe Cleethorpes, uh, Totting and Ealing, Kidsgrove. Have some other ones and just run some routes over to the other places. It's like it's it's really difficult to get away, like a, a decent distance away from Sparksville. I don't know, maybe this airport would have been better off where I originally put it over here. Um, and I did think about putting one in between uh, Liza Lot and, uh, and Loganstone over here. So I don't know. That's all I can think of, guys. If you have got any ideas, for, for heaven's sake, please drop me a line. Because, you know, I, I, I mean, I thought about coming on and saying, yeah, they look absolutely awesome. Does it really matter if, if people are using them? Well, frankly, yes, it does. <laughs> it's not like, it, yeah, it's cool that they look good, but I want people using it. I want passengers actually travelling on these. So, so yeah, yeah. It, I gotta say, it is a little bit disappointing. But when they are travelling, when you when you do get back, we've got seven people there. Like I said the busiest route is. Uh, by the way, when you open these windows up, my God, it increases the lag, like big time. Let's whiz back over here. Uh, now, uh, I think it's this one. Is it this one? Let's have a look. And of course, there's nobody waiting there. What about this one? Nobody waiting there either. My God, what's going on? Look, it's look. It's gone down to like next to nothing now. Okay, I've never seen the Gangu uh, Sparksville that low. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, so we picked up some passengers from there. Let's just make sure I've got the right... right uh, oh, it's two. It's Gangu Terminal 2. Yeah, so it's those two that are the most popular. But now, for some reason, the Gangu locals have, have stopped showing up. Like, what the hell? Now, I don't... I mean, I don't know. I mean, I could play around more with the, with the transport systems in here and try and get it more efficient or whatever, but... Um, but they're already pretty efficient, to be honest. I don't really know what more I could do. We've got uh, we've got the old figure of eight trams in there. Do you remember those? Ages ago we did those. So we've got the uh, the figure of eight trams, which then go out to the airport and then go into another figure of eight at the other town. So like, and then you've got the the rail network. The mini halo. Oh, and I increased the number of trains on the mini halos. I doubled the number of trains on the mini halos to like, uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I went up from five to ten. Um, I increased the frequency of the trams. I did all kinds of things. I like seriously. I couldn't have done more. I I really don't know what else I could do. I suppose um, I should show you the lines, really, shouldn't I? Let's bang that up there. Let's get rid of that. Let's close these down because these windows really lag the game out. Don't I don't see? Now it's okay. We have those windows open. It's so laggy. 
Uh, okay, so let's. So what we got? We got that, 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 and that. Okay. So let's just have these up, and you'll see the different lines. So we've got. Let's see. We've got. Uh, we've got this blue one, which is Gangu to uh, to docking over there. And we've got um, lies a lot to dogging, which is a fairly short one. And then we've got dogging over here uh, to. Uh, oh, sorry, dogging over here, going to um, Sparksville, which is this this light blue one. And then we've got the dark blue one, which is uh, Gangu lies a lot, which is this this blue one, and uh, Gangu Sparksville, which is the pink one going around there. Which is definitely the best one. Are you picked up at all? It's, oh, now it's, now suddenly it lies a lot. Dogging has jumped up to like 63 passengers. Which is freaking... Like, that's the shortest bloomin' route. <laughs> Literally, the shortest route. And that is the one that suddenly people are, are using. And the, the two Gangu ones are not getting used. And, and they're the ones that up until now have been the one that have been used the most. Oh, man, I don't know. I just don't know. I, I really, other than putting like like I said, other than putting air, airports like the one that lies a lot like all over the place, and, and just try and get some distance. Try. I think, I think it is a case that the um, the, the mega halo people have already got so much choice for shopping and jobs and whatever, and they've got such variety of uh, of options for travelling around already that it's just hard on this map with the way it's set up to get people to fly. I think it's um, it's really, really difficult. Anyway, I am going to carry on working on that. I would love to get it working, though. And um, and it is awesome to look at. There's no freaking question about it. It is awesome. When you actually get people... Let's get to go over here. When you actually get people showing up... Well, there seems to be a... Say, here we got somebody. Now, where are you going? He's going shopping, and he's going shopping in, oh, he's going shopping in Landsberg Heights. So he's decided he's going to fly to Dogging, and then go to Landsberg Heights. And he works in Premier 2 Caton, so he probably flies for that as well. Look, I mean, we have got a bunch of people. Where are you going? He's going shopping. Where are you going shopping? He's going, sh he's going shopping in Winneston. So again, he's flying to Dogging, and then he'll catch the train to Winniston. Uh, what about you? You're... Oh, that was the guy we just talked to. What about you? Um, this guy... Oh, this guy's going to Bloomin' Ice Cream Town. And he works in Loganstone. Man, how the frickin' hell do you get to Loganstone? There's no connection between Lot and Loganstone. To get there... I mean, okay, yeah, you could fly, actually. You could fly to Dogging, and then get the train and then the tram to Loganstone. My God, what a nightmare. But see, this is the thing. If I connect up Loganstone and Lyselot with a train with an airport in the middle, then people who have been taking like really stupid routes, like flying to Dogging, won't. They'll just catch the train to Loganstone. So it, it's almost the case. The more I improve the transport system to try and allow people to use the airports, the, the less they're going to use the airports. So... You kind of do have to, like, force them to use the airports by, by having towns that have very bad connections. Which is not really a good thing, is it? I don't know what you think. It is, it is difficult. I think we're going to have more success on the American map, maybe. Because, um, just because it's a long, thin map. Um we got kind of more chance to get people flying from one end to the other. You do need you do need kind of longish routes to get the the speed boost from from the planes because while they're taking off, like, like while they take off and bank and whatever, they're they're not going that fast. It's only when they get a nice long flat run that they really get up to speed, and that's when they pay off. So there you go. Oh, now before we go though, I do have one bit of good news. Got to show you this. You'll like this. Let's, uh, while I'm talking to you, let's, let's zoom into Lot Airport. Actually, let's just look at it that way. It'll be a bit, bit less laggy if I look at it that way. Uh, should I crank it up a bit? Let's crank it up a little bit. You can see more going on with a bit of luck. Um, what, 
look at this. Look at the. Now we're up to 21 billion. Um, it's now the year 2085, which kind of shows you. And I've been resetting and trying different things and resetting and trying different things. So, man, it's taken so long. But look at this. We're making consistently over 700 million. And if you look at where, what we spent on new vehicles. Oh, actually, we haven't spent a lot on new, vehicle, new, new vehicles. Um, but yeah, we've been fairly consistently between seven, eight hundred million for quite a while now. So we only need a little bit to get us up to the billion. Now, bear in mind, if I bring up the line profitability, and look, we've got just the just the airlines are costing us uh, what thirty, uh, eighty, like a hundred million. So there's a hundred million. Like I could scrap the airlines and make an extra hundred million. That'd get us up to like. 850, 900, and then we've got the, the halo sectors where we haven't got all of the, um, uh, the construction materials or food or whatever. If we bump those up, there's another 100 million straight away. So, yeah, 1 billion, 1 billion, pretty easy. Look, I, I gotta say, I do love looking at the airports. I love looking at the airports right until I say that we've only got one freaking passenger waiting. <laughs> what are our numbers now? Let's have a look. 1929. Almost 60 on the, the Lies a Lot dogging line. Why is that line working now? This one was up much higher. I don't know why that suddenly stopped working. Um, I, you know what? I could actually increase the number of planes on that route, which might help a bit, because that's actually a little bit high now. I don't know why that's... Um, that was lower than that. So, yeah, I, again, I've played around with the plane frequencies. I've tried having, like... 20, 25 planes on a route doesn't seem to make that much difference. You get a few more passengers, but not enough to warrant the um, the extra cost of ha of running the airplanes. You never seem to get anywhere near like full capacity. So I don't know, guys. We're going to leave it there because this has been, I think, a, a fairly long episode, uh, and you've had a bit of time lapse and you had a bunch of stuff and all that kind of thing. Uh, so, um, yeah, leave me your comments, which I'm going to be intrigued to say, God, I hope somebody comes up with something that I have totally missed and goes, this is the answer to your problem. I will catch you to the next one, for, for the next one, guys. Even though it's been a pain, it has been fun. Peace out.